Good morning everyone. Uh, I thought I'd do a video or a series of videos showing the, the new Funtime Gazelle 4 features. I'm going to have to do it in several parts simply because there are so many features that I'm going to exceed my YouTube time of 10 minutes. So I'll go through each feature demonstrating what each feature does and we'll have to do several videos. So I hope you enjoy them. So to start with I'm just going to shut this screen down. I'm actually going to shut my software down altogether and I'm going to open it up again because one of the first features, and I'm sure it's something that uh, you'll all love, and that is to create a new one at long last. We have an erase page. A lot of you have mentioned to me how we get all these superfluous sizes of um, page sizes that some of you have never even made and others just appear seem to appear from nowhere. So in order to remove one of these, just click on it and erase page and that will get rid of it out of your list. So for the first um, fun or new function, uh, this is a fantastic one. So I'm going to open my page and the next great uh, feature is at long last we have a WPC viewer similar to an SVG viewer. So if I was to open a project or open a, a WPC, so I'll just go to my directory. I should have probably had this already out. If I went to animals and click on two little pigs, you can see in the bottom here that it now gives you a view of what the file looks like. Better than that, I think, uh, I think I have done these. It also shows you the kiss cut lines. Okay, so this is another fantastic feature of the new Funtime Gazelle software. So if you're wondering whether you should be purchasing it or upgrading, um, I can highly recommend it. Now, the next new feature is we've got a couple of extra scissor. Um, or decorative scissor edges. Now I'm going to work in wireframe because it's much easier to see what's going on. So I'll click on W at the bottom of the page and I'm going to go over tools and scissors and you can see here I'm not sure it's like a zip um, cut and I think there was they've added quite a few. Now you'll see two new buttons here one is a scissor and one is a pencil and the purpose of these is I will show you if I click on this decorative edge scissor and click on the scissor icon, you'll notice that my uh, cursor has turned to scissors and now I can slice through and it has cut using that decorative edge. Okay, But the other one, which is the pencil, enables me to actually draw an open line using that decorative edge. Okay, So that's the difference between the scissor icon and the pencil icon. You can also, like before, choose the size of the pattern that you're wanting. So again, if I choose on this zip um, scissor and type through, uh, cut through it, you can see it's quite a big, um, sorry, I've had pencil selected still. If I click on the scissor and go through, you can see it's quite a big uh, pattern. So that's the new uh, scissor styles that are now available to you. Um, don't despair for fun time users. I believe that Simon Max are working on a new um, version for fun time as well. Now one of the other fe uh, features also, I can't tell you how many times I'll hear people say I work for two hours on a file and the software crashed. At long last, we also have an auto save. Now, if to, to switch on the auto save, go to setting, setup, save, and you will ha have to activate it, which is here. Auto save in backup directory and enable. Okay, now you can change it to whatever, how many ever minutes. I'm going to leave mine at two because I figure surely I can't do that much damage in two minutes um, and press OK. So now your software, if it crashes, you'll now be able to pick up the backup um, of two minutes ago or five minutes ago, whichever uh, time frame that you selected. OK, so also another function that uh, I specifically requested and I'll choose this one. 
just bring it up onto the screen so you can see it. Okay, one of the other new features is we can now change line percentage. This is something I've been asking for for a long, long time. Now, to activate this feature, first of all, you must make sure that your element is selected. And then by pressing C on your keyboard, you'll notice now we have a percentage sign. And in there, you can click on this percentage sign and you can type in, say, 73.5 for your width and 73.5 and select apply and it will increase or decrease your image by that percentage. Uh, I find this particularly great when I'm following instructions or whatever and it'll say you know harvest or um, you need to uh, in a magazine sometimes I'll give you a picture and they'll say, oh, you have to enlarge that by 200%. And you think, oh, how on earth am I going to do that? Well, now you can with this new feature. Okay, the SVG importer, which has been around for a little while, but it does have um, a couple of new features. And that is, when we go to import our SVG, and I'll just have to go back and find them, because I've got a million directories open. Uh, SVG files. Previously, um, you'll uh, when we've selected on a file, uh, previously it just lets you import it at 90 um, DPI, which is 90 dots per inch, which hasn't been a problem. But for some of you that might purchase files from SVG cuts or some other third party site, you may have found that when it imports in, either the file is way too small or way too big. And that's because they've been created in a different DPI. So we can now change the DPI from either 90 to 72. Uh, and that will eliminate um, the file coming in at an odd size and then you're unsure what size it should have been before you imported it. Okay, so um, Illustrator and um, SVG files uh, that have been created, sorry, created in Illustrator will import at 90, uh, 72 DPI. Whereas if you've imported them from Inkscape or created them in Inkscape or a similar program, they import at 90 for, uh, DPI. For most people, this probably won't be uh, too much of an issue. Just leave it at 90 for the most part. Now that's the end of the first part of the new features for Funtime Gazelle. And we'll see you soon in the second part.